Hello and welcome to another episode of Stand Up for Jehovah. Well, we've just gone past memorial season. Memorial season, like it comes between spring and summer. <laughs> and we all do really exciting things. It's just past memorial season and I want to address this issue of Jesus died for you. And to be fair, it's not just the witnesses that go on about this. It's all over all the churches. Jesus died for you. On Facebook a couple of days ago, there was somebody had copied and pasted a discussion from some Christians, not witnesses, but Christians. And they were getting all hit up about atheists and saying, Jesus died for them. They should be grateful. I can't wait until they burn in hell. And somebody else had said, yeah, they should all be nailed to a stake and bleed to death and see how they like it. And they were quite angry because we weren't that grovelingly um, appreciative that Jesus had died for us. But this thing of being eternally grateful oh, all the time so grateful that you died for me I'm so grateful every morning every afternoon every evening what a drag what a drag that is what about this what about Henrietta Lacks Henrietta Lacks died for us Henrietta Lacks was a black woman who had this really weird thing with her cells and when she died her cells wouldn't stop reproducing and um, a doctor took some of her cells and since then her cells that just won't die have been used in nearly every research you can think of. So Henrietta Lacks's cells have been used for um, creating a polio vaccine, for cancer research, for gene mapping, for human allergies, for AIDS research. Henrietta Lacks died for us. Nearly every person currently on the planet who's had any kind of thing wrong with them has benefited from the cells that are still being used in nearly every research lab around the world from Henrietta Lacks. But I don't see people getting all het up about her. Oh, Henrietta Lacks died for you. You should be so grateful. You should be groveling to Henrietta Lacks. You should be sending thank you letters to Henrietta Lacks's family every day. You should be praying to her at, at the beginning of every meal thank you Henrietta Lacks they don't get all her head up about that do they but they do about Jesus and I don't get it why should you have to be grateful all the time look when I had my baby my first baby not the one that you see the enormous boy when I had the beautiful girl I lost my pelvic floor it's gone I can't go on a trampoline or laugh without a little bit of wee coming out now but I don't let Chloe know about it all day long do you? I gave my pelvic floor for you you should be grateful see that little bit of wee that's because of you say thank you Chloe say thank you to your mother every day three times a day I gave my pelvic you should be grateful uh, my pelvic floor died for you 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 just wouldn't do it to your own kids would you I mean apart from the fact that that's kind of a weird thing to make or be thankful for you just wouldn't want your kids to be so grovelingly thankful to you all the time you want them to be happy and you want them to be vaguely aware that you've done loads of really good shit for them and once or twice maybe when they're 18 and maybe when they're 34 you want them to turn around and go oh do you know what mum thanks it was a pretty bad job but you know you did okay that's all you want. You don't want them to grovel about it all the time. What is this Jesus groveling? Oh, what a drag. Here's the other thing. Um, Vincent de Porter put a brilliant comment up on Facebook where he said, Jesus died for us. He barely went away. He was only gone three days. That's a short holiday, isn't it? That's a, that's a weekend break. You might not even have noticed he was gone. He didn't die. He was just gone for three days. How is that dying for us? Well, you could argue technically, well, he had a human body and the human body died and then he got another body. Right. Isn't that what caterpillars do? They have a caterpillar body and then they, they all wrap up and the mum and dad must be going, oh, he's dying, he's dying, he's dying for us. And then three days later, let's hope it'd be a nice symmetry, wouldn't it? Three days later, he emerges as a butterfly. He's still the same fella or girl. If they're fellas and girls, they must be, or else there wouldn't be any baby ones. Um, but it just looks different. He didn't die. He didn't die. He just changed. He changed from a, a squitchy, delicious, eaty thing for birds to a, a flappy, beautiful thing. That's not dying. That's just changing. Nobody needs to be grateful. All the caterpillars don't need to be bewailing the fact, oh, he died for us. We've got to be grateful forever. No, he just changed. It's okay. So I have issues, <laughs> as you can tell. I have 
only shows with the whole Jesus died for us. Be grateful. Don't be happy grateful. Be miserable grateful. It's really serious. In fact, when Jesus died, he set up a ritual and he said, do this in remembrance of me. And, uh, and the Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't do it. They all sit there and they don't do the ritual that Jesus said to do, do they? Now, I had this funny thought. What if at the meal Jesus had said, right, oh, this, this means my, this means my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. And they'd all gone, oh, Jesus wants us to go in remembrance of him. <laughs> Can you imagine if they'd got the wrong bit at all the meetings across all the congregations in the whole world. Jehovah's Witnesses would sit there and they'd not scratch their noses in remembrance of him. <laughs> and if anybody had a really bad itch at that moment, they'd be going, mm, mm, mm. and then they'd be like, that's the end of not doing it. And they go, thank God, I can scratch my nose again. I thought it would have been beautiful, wouldn't it? Do this, meaning don't do this, secret code from Jesus. Do this in remembrance of me. Don't do it. Only us know the secret code. So all the Jehovah's Witnesses would have sat there not doing whatever it was that Jesus just did at that minute when he said, do this in remembrance of me. Imagine if he'd like bent down to do his sandal laces up. Oh, we mustn't do our sandal laces up once a year in remembrance of him. <laughs> I think... The memorial could have been a whole lot more fun if only they'd listened to me. But no, never mind. Thank you for listening to another mini edition of Stand Up for Jehovah.